Hey, this is Levi Hummond, and you're watching FoxNewsMagazine.com. We're Rosa Parks on a Montgomery bus. We're firemen rushing in. We're standing alone, falling down and losing till we win. So I've been writing for about two and a half years, sometimes five days a week, sometimes two times a day. And uh, I would be writing during the weekdays, and then on weekends I go out and play, play songs and drive out to like Baltimore from Nashville or Detroit or Chicago. And uh, really kind of playing these brand new songs and figuring out from fans what is kind of winning them over and what they're you know, enjoying the most. And so a lot of these songs on this EP were chosen because of fans' reactions and kind of just meeting people and, and what songs I was falling in love with. My dad is a country songwriter. He wrote songs like Blessed Broken Road and Cowboy Take Me Away. And so I would grow up and be getting ready for school and the Dixie Chicks and Rascal Flats would be in my living room singing these songs and these melodies and, and lyrics were being written in, right in front of me. I kind of thought growing up that country music and songwriting was my dad's thing really. But in college, actually my sophomore year of college, I got my heart broken and picked up a guitar and started writing a song basically for the girl. And because of that, I kind of started really loving songwriting and kind of fell in love with it as my own craft. And moved back to Nashville after college in Florida and really pursued it professionally for the last two and a half years. I think that um, country music fans should know that I come from a singer-songwriting background. My dad's a songwriter, but I also come from a place where my mom's a preacher and a huge thing for me is giving back to communities and being part of that. I think one of my goals as an artist and as a human being is to leave this world better than I, than I got here. And I think that that's a huge thing for me and I think that all fans should know that. If I could collaborate with anybody, um, I think it would be Ed Sheeran just because I'm a huge fan of his. He has just such awesome lyrics and like vocal range and I just love that like he can step onto a stage in front of 80,000 people with just a guitar and just kind of win over everybody and I feel like that's what I want to do as an artist as well.